Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many Node.js developers encounter. Our viewer has a simple bot that makes HTTP requests every second to a REST API. Everything runs smoothly for hours, but suddenly, after about four to five hours, they encounter an error. Get a Drinfo E not found. What does this mean and why does it happen? Let's break it down and find out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. The error you're encountering, get adrinfo e not found, indicates that your Node.js application is unable to resolve the host name of the API you're trying to reach. This issue often arises due to DNS resolution problems. After running for several hours, your application may be experiencing a temporary DNS failure. To mitigate this issue, consider implementing a retry mechanism in your HTTP requests. This way, if a request fails due to DNS issues, your bot can attempt to reconnect automatically. Additionally, you can check your network stability and ensure that the DNS servers you're using are reliable. Switching to a public DNS like Google DNS might help. Finally, if the problem persists, consider logging the DNS resolution process to gather more insights into what might be causing the failures. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The error get adrinfo ENA found can happen due to a typo in your URL. It's important to double-check long subdomain URLs. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The error, get adrinfo e not found in Postman, often occurs when the desired environment isn't selected. This means the variables you're trying to use are not defined. And that's it, guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.